Hello there everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is another month. So today is another movie that I watched this month. I have nine movies in total because I was also on vacation to Italy with my youth movement, aka Scouts. And uh, yeah, nine movies. There are a few pretty cool ones. So let's start off with the first one, which was Oppenheimer. This was actually the first movie that I watched this month. And uh, yeah, Oppenheimer about, you know, J. Robert Oppenheimer, the creator, I guess, or the designer, I guess, of the atomic bomb. This was a Christopher Nolan movie, three hours long. It was enjoyable, it was pretty good. So I watched this with a few of my mates. So, hey, cool, cool, cool. Very, very, very nice. So the next one is, uh, I guess, let's go from one, one movie to another one, which is Apocalypse Now. This is about the Vietnam War and soldiers going over there and um, trying to stop some kind of like, hmm, not really cult leader, but it's more like a person who I guess it is. <laughs> I guess I suppose it kind of is like that. But hey, okay, there we go. So Apocalypse Now is about Vietnam and there's this one great scene about like the Ride of the Valkyries um, song where they go and in, in, inside like choppers, helicopters and there is this epic music playing which is like classical music. It's, it's such a great scene. Epic. The next movie is Johnny English Strikes Again. This is not really a war movie per se. Uh, so that is not really a match from the previous or a, uh, I guess, link to the previous movie. But I saw this one, this is like the fourth Johnny English movie. And I didn't even watch this one already. So now I did obviously. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I kind of liked it. I, I, I could see why people wouldn't like this one because it's like, you know, less funnier, but you know, Rowan Atkinson, the man is a legend. So everything he does is pretty funny. So the next one is They Cloned Tyrone which is a Netflix movie with uh, starring Jamie Foxx and John Boega on some kind of mystery uh, discovery mission where they found out like people get cloned inside a super highly secured pr prison facility, clone facility underneath the city where they live. So hey, there we go. The next one is Borat. Borat is, he's a sexy man, bro. So I also got this one. Same with Apocalypse Now, uh, somewhere like two months ago in the second hand store and Borat is freaking epic like this movie made me laugh so hard and this was the movie that I actually lost watched before I went on vacation with my youth movement so uh, yeah bro I always crack on that movie like I crack a laugh on that movie I guess because um, it is so damn funny like there is this one scene where they fight naked inside a bedroom a bedroom of like you know where they live in the hotel and they their fight continues down the hallway uh, downstairs to a, a meeting or some kind of thing I guess and it's pretty funny so there we go the next one is Guardians of Galaxy 3 bro I love this movie I cried a lot about this like bro the first time I watched this with two guys that I know uh, you know I cried the second one I had you know teary eyes but bro this is a movie that just you know just kind of breaks me, man. This this movie really, really breaks me. Guardians of the Galaxy 3, it's because I grew up with Guardians of the Galaxy and I really, really like these group of heroes, obviously. But anyway, let's not get too sensitive about it because, pff, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next one is not really, per se, a official movie. Not really, like, distributed by Hollywood or, or some kind of European studios. This is Spider-Man Lotus. Uh, I guess I, I counted this one as a movie because it's two hours long. And, you know, it's a fan film, so I guess, you know, I, I counted it as well. Um, so two hours makes sense, right? So it's about Spider-Man facing his uh, problems that he had while uh, trying to rescue Gwen Stacy. Obviously, Gwen Stacy falls down to her death, you know, and he, he's trying to cope with that. He doesn't really know how to be Spider-Man anymore, and he fights the Shocker in the first few scenes, so that's pretty cool. I really like the custom designs of this fan film. It's fan film, so not a lot of budget, right? So that's cool. The next one is Dune, and Dune was on Netflix. I watched it, so hey, pretty cool. Uh, this is like two hours and 30 minutes, and uh, yeah, I really liked it. It is um, pretty okay. It's not really that, you know, very thrilling, I guess. But uh, yeah, I mean, there is a second part. Probably, I'm probably going to watch the second part because you know this movie was pretty cool. I was just casually enjoying the movie, not really like I was not constantly on my phone or something. Uh, so I really thought that was going to happen. Like Dune seems kind of boring, but it it doesn't really. Like you have Timothy Chalamet, Oscar Isaac, Dave Bautista, um, the dad of um, 
I think thing, uh, the actor from Pennywise, right? That's his dad, right? I believe. So, uh, or yeah, you know, I'll, I'll put pictures on the screen because, you know, why not, right? The next and last one is Barbie. I watched Barbie and I love Barbie. Like, dude, this is, this movie breaks my mind. Like, it is about philo philosophy, fe feminism, masculinity. It is about being strong, being independent, being so damn cool. Like, I'm just can, I, you know, just saying, I am, I'm literally Ryan Gosling. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much it. Nine movies, that was alright, I guess. Yeah, sure. Uh, but that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone.